Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Lieutenant Colonel David Stalker, welcome today to the 23rd Brigade Engineer Battalion Change of Responsibility Ceremony. Today, the outgoing Battalion Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Raymond Washington will relinquish responsibility of the 23rd Brigade Engineer Battalion to the incoming Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Andre Bland. The formation before you are the units participating in today's ceremony, composed of companies, guidons, and soldiers assigned to the 23rd Brigade Engineer Battalion. Today's ceremony is a reflection of procedures practiced since the birth of our Army in 1775. The formation of troops centered on the national flag represents the unified purpose of the Army and its willingness to make the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our nation. Next to the flag is the unit's colors. The closeness, is the, the closeness to the national flag symbolizes the trust placed on the Army by the nation. Representing each unit are the battalion colors and the company guide on. Each is a symbol of pride, tradition, and history. Unit colors serve to mark the location of an organization's headquarters and its commander. When a unit's colors are removed from the headquarters, such as for today's ceremony, they remain under guard. This is more than a tradition. It is a solemn recognition and the devotion to the sacrifice and gallantry of all who have served under those colors. The task of guarding the unit colors is an honor and given only to the finest soldiers. Ladies and gentlemen, the 23rd Brigade Engineer Battalion would like to recognize our distinguished visitors for today's ceremony. Please hold your applause till the end. Command Sergeant Major Lawless, Command Sergeant Major of the 7th Infantry Division, Colonel Coleman, the commander of 1-2 Striker Brigade, and Command Sergeant Major Smith, the Command Sergeant Major of 1-2 Striker Brigade. <laughs> Music today is provided by America's first core band, Rainier Brass, under the direction of Staff Sergeant Windsor. Please direct your attention to the VIP seating area. At this time, Sergeant Mayfield is presenting a bouquet of red roses in full bloom to Command Sergeant Major Spouse, Miss Selena Washington. The red roses symbolize the color of the heart for the care and concern Miss Selena Washington has shown to the soldiers and families of the Spearhead Battalion. Sergeant Mayfield will also be presenting one red rose to Command Sergeant Major's mother, Mrs. Davis, and daughters, Ariel and Taylor. At this time, Sergeant Pappas is presenting a bouquet of bunding yellow roses to Command Sergeant Major Bland's spouse, Miss Lita Bland. The yellow color is a sign of welcome, and the bunding flowers are anticipation of things to come. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation provided by Apostle David Davis from the Greater Life Church and remain standing for the posting of the colors and honors to the nation. Let us pray. Eternal Father, it is with thankful hearts that we lift our prayer to you on this significant occasion. We thank you for the life, skill, and dedication of Sergeant Major Washington. We are grateful for the decades of sacrificial service which he offered on our behalf. We also thank you for the great sacrifice of his wife, Selena, and their children in allowing him to serve faithfully and with excellence. We are asking your blessing upon this beloved family as they start anew. Be with them in their move, give them comfort in the difficulty of leaving what they know, bless them with new friends with whom they can share the joys of life, make their memories fond and sweet of all they have, have accomplished and all the people they knew. In Jesus' name, amen. The non-commissioned officer in charge of today's change of responsibility ceremony is Mass Sergeant Michael McCabe. The ceremony will begin when the NCIC commands the units to be brought to attention. Bring your units to attention. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The change of responsibility is simple, yet traditional event that is rich with symbolism and heritage. The key to this ceremony is the passing of the colors. The very soul of the military unit is symbolized in the colors under which it fights, for they represent not only the lineage and honor of the unit, but also the loyalty and unity of its soldiers. The custodian of the colors is the command sergeant major, who is the senior enlisted soldier in the unit and the principal advisor to the commander. The non-commissioned officer in charge, Massar McCabe, will pass the colors to Command Sergeant Major Washington, who will in turn pass the colors to the commander. The passing of the colors symbolizes the relinquishment of responsibility and authority from Command Sergeant Major Washington. The commander will then pass the colors to Command Sergeant Major Bland, charging him with the responsibility and authority that comes with his position. Charge orders for Command Sergeant Major Andre Bland. Let it be known from this day forward that the commander of the 23rd Brigade Engineer Battalion has placed special trust and confidence in your patriotism, dedication, integrity, and leadership abilities. Therefore, you are hereby appointed as the Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Andre Bland. Command Sergeant Major Bland will now return the colors to the non-commissioned officer in charge. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 23rd Brigade Engineer Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Stock David Stalker. Command, Sergeant, Command Sergeant Major Lawless, Colonel and Miss Coleman, Command Sergeant Major Smith, Command Sergeant Major Langs, Commanders and Command Sergeant Majors, distinguished guests, family, and friends of the Spirit Battalion, Ghost Brigade and 7th Infantry Division. Thank you for joining us this afternoon for the change of responsibility between Command Sergeant Major Raymond Washington and Command Sergeant Major Andre Bland. This afternoon marks a momentous occasion as we say our fin final farewell to Command Sergeant Major Washington and his family and welcome Command Sergeant Major Bland and his family. Selena Anise Jr. Stephen, Taylor, and Ariel. It's great to see you today, and I appreciate you guys traveling a long way to get here. Thank you for sharing your spouse, your son, and your father with us for the past 30 months. His leadership has made a positive impact on so many people, soldiers and families alike. This wouldn't have happened without your love and support, and I sincerely thank you. Mass Arm McCabe and Mass Arm Petita, the team looks great. Thanks for all your hard work in making this a memorable day for everyone. And a special thanks to the i -Corps band. You've done a great job at every ceremony I've been to, and you continue uh, that here today, so thank you. Since June 2020, Command Sergeant Major has been in the arena we call the 1-2 Striker Brigade Combat Team. As a senior enlisted advisor of the battalion, he expertly guided this battalion through countless field training exercises at JBLM and Yakima Training Center, a JRTC rotation, a wildland firefighting deployment in California, and a national training center rotation, which he went through the entire rotation with a broken ankle. As we further reflect on these past 30 months, three tenets of the NCO creed sum up your impact and legacy on this unit. No one is more professional than I. Command Sergeant Major, your investment in both officer and NCO development is unmatched. You built our battalion's Team Leader Academy and NCO induction ceremony from scratch. You informed both our Spear Ride and our Platoon Leader Platoon Sergeant Academies. All these signature events signify, signify how important professionalism is to you and how important it is to the Army, so thank you. Competence is my watchword. 
You have driven a culture where technical and tactical proficiency are paramount to the BEB leader and soldier. You have set high expectations on these fronts while caring for soldiers and families. Your couch in your office was never empty of a young leader, either seeking your counsel to help them through a leadership problem or being counseled on standards and discipline. As you say, life is tough, so you had better wear a helmet. I firmly believe you are the right leader for this organization who exacts competence and professionalism, but who also empathetically assists soldiers through their problems. Thanks for ensuring every leader in this formation left your office with a helmet, constructed through your coaching and counseling. Lastly, officers in my unit will have the maximum time to accomplish their duties. They will not have to accomplish mine. You live this tenant day in and day out. Command Sergeant Major Washington has prepared the soldiers and leaders in front of you to be experts at their jobs, whether it is fighting fires in California, training cadets at Fort Knox, or leading and advising combat operations at JRTC and NTC. Your ability to leverage the NCO Corps to not only carry the load, but inspire others to greatness has made this unit a force multiplier for the brigade. Your development of countless soldiers and leaders is your legacy, and it can be seen everywhere you look around this battalion and brigade. Thank you, Command Sergeant Major Washington. Thank you for your selfless commitment to soldiers and families. Thank you for developing leaders. Thank you for the sound guidance and counsel that you provided me throughout my command. Most importantly, I thank you for your friendship. I have the utmost respect for you and it is my honor to have served with you in, in this arena with you. Command Sergeant Major Bland, it's great to have you on board. You have a stellar reputation throughout the Engineer Regiment. Just today, Command Sergeant Major Powers was talking to me about you based on your reputation that you have not only in Hawaii, but what you also did at Fort Leonard Wood and at Fort Bragg. I am eager to get to know you better, and I can't wait to serve with you as we teach and train junior leaders, build readiness, and mold lethal warriors who are ready to win in combat. I also look forward to meeting and get to know your family a little bit better. Lita, Samuel, Rita, and Andre Jr., welcome to this team, and thank you for your sacrifice as an Army family. You just showing up to post a few days ago and being out here to support your husband and your father says a lot about your family and the support you give as an Army family, so thank you. To the soldiers and leaders of the Spearhead Battalion, you expect a lot from your leaders. Trust that leaders in this organization will earn and maintain your trust and respect. Know that a lot will also be expected of you, being in the 23rd BEB Battalion. With 58 different MOSs and 19 different platoons, the brigade will call on us when faced with a complex and a difficult mission. I have no doubt we will rise to the occasion and win. As you prepare for Cobra Gold in Thailand, uh, continue with modernization efforts of our equipment and prepare for deployments to NTC and Fort Huachuca, I have no doubt that you will turn any challenge into an opportunity for personnel and professional growth as soldiers and leaders. I'm confident that this proud organization will continue to excel under Command Sergeant Major Bland and the leadership of the NCOs that stand next to you in the formation. Trust in me, arrive in science, out front. Ladies and gentlemen, the outgoing Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Raymond Washington. Now I see why they write those things down. These things, just, you know, just in case you start getting emotional, you're like, man, you can't wait till you get a chance to leave. And then you got to leave, and then you get all soft and stuff, and you got to change the way you look so people still think you're tough. Um, good afternoon, Command Sergeant Major Lawless, Colonel Coleman, Command Sergeant Major Smith, Command Sergeant Major Lanes, distinguished guests, commandos, fellow Command Sergeant Majors, leaders, and friends and family of the Spearhead family. I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your schedule today to take part in today's ceremony. I would like to first thank God for waking me up each morning and giving me the strength and the ability to complete the last 31 months as the BEB's Command Sergeant Major. I would also like to thank Apostle Davis for the awesome invocation as well as for being my spiritual leader while here at JBLM. I would also like to thank America's First Corps Band for bringing their awesome talent to today's ceremony. Although you're putting us to sleep at first because that Christmas music was kind of slow, but you make any event better, and you're always first class in your performances. So let's give them a hand. I know he's not here now, uh, but Major General Smith, Command Sergeant Major Lawless, uh, Colonel Coleman, Command Sergeant Major Smith, thank you for allowing me to continue to serve 
as the 23rd BB's Command Sergeant Major, picking up where uh, Sergeant Major Langs and Colonel Boardwell left off. And uh, Sergeant Major Langs, you know, thank you for some of that candid advice you gave me in your office quite a few times when I came seeking advice and guidance. Uh, to my commanders, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Gaylord and Lieutenant Colonel Stalker, thank you for always putting the families and soldiers of the battalion first and showing the highest level of care and concern for them. Your guidance helped shape the future generations of spearhead soldiers to come, and I'm very thankful for that. And one thing that soldiers don't know about you, Colonel Stalker, they think that it's always the Sergeant Major and the enlisted that dives into the fray to make their lives better but there's countless times where you and I have came at even odds about how to take care of the soldier, both trying to get to the same end state, but coming at it different ways. And your tenacity and your fight is one that I think every officer should emulate, sir. So thank you for that. And I appreciate everything that you've done for the soldiers of this battalion. You were truly an awesome battle buddy. To my fellow command sergeants majors, thank you for being true battle buddies and being willing to assist the Spearhead Battalion whenever I asked or they needed it. I know that I can call upon either of you uh, at any time for great advice or listening ear. And as I found out this last Saturday, to tell me how old I am. Thank you very much. But Rich, you're older than me. Don't never forget that. Uh, then there are my Iron Majors, Majors Dress, Bruning, Locks, and Yates. You leaders are truly some of the hardest workers in the battalion and the epitome of selfless service. The battalion could not be successful without you. Thank you. To the company commanders, and all my first sergeants, Juarez, Avery, Petito, Brewster, Wilder, Reed, Forrest, Francis, Teal, Thomas, Ballesteros, Becerra, Hag, and Heckle. Got it all in one breath. Uh, thank you for your outstanding leadership, late nights, and great personal sacrifices for our soldiers. Continue to chop wood and take care of America's greatest resource, its sons and daughters. To my operations sergeants, Sergeant Major Miles, Master Sergeant Sin, Master Sergeant Petita, and Master Sergeant McCabe. There is nothing that can be accomplished without your right hand. Trying to do so, it would be very unsuccessful. And I fortunately had great right hands in everything that I've done. So thank you. Without you, the battalion wouldn't have been able to operate because I wouldn't have been able to shoot, move, and communicate across the battlefield like I needed to without a good ops or major making things happen behind the scenes. So thank you. To the soldiers of the Spearhead Battalion, what can I say? I'm speechless by the compliments of what you've done since I first arrived in June 2020. You rose to every answer, answer every call, from successful gunnery tables and wildland firefighting to NTC and JRTC rotations and various support missions. You've continued to put your best foot forward and achieve success in every mission thrown at you. Continue to approve every day, lock arms with each other, and move toward any task. And if you do that, you'll succeed. Command Sergeant Major Bland, I would like to welcome you, your lovely family, family, Lita, and your children to the Spearhead and Ghost family. The Army got it right with you, choosing you to be the next battalion Command Sergeant Major. I hope that I didn't leave too much of a mess for you to put together, but you're the right man for the job. I just hope your bottle of glue is big to put the puzzle pieces back together. But congratulations, brother, and welcome to the team. Good luck and Godspeed. Command Sergeant Major Tipton, or as I call you now, brother, without you, there would have been no Sergeant Major Washington, definitely not a successful one. From day one, when you were an inspiration to me as a young first sergeant with 12 years in, to the day that my dad died, and you picked me up and brought me in your office. There's so many things I could say from that day and to the, our time in Afghanistan, but thank you. And as you can see, it's not just me. It's a lot of old pacemakers here. Colonel Bullock over there trying to hide in the corner. Lieutenant Lynn, Captain Lynn, Lieutenant uh, Winslow, now Major Mackey, all a testament to the things we did together as pacemakers. So thank you for your mentorship, and I appreciate and thank all of you for showing up. I would like to also thank my brothers from Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated for their support today and taking time to attend today's ceremony. I would greatly miss you as you made me a better man in my senior years of being 40 something years old as I migrate away from the Pacific Northwest. I quite look forward to staying in touch. Grayson Fleming, I hate Auburn, roll tide, but I love you. You'll always be my brother. <laughs> being in the Army for well over 25 years has taught me quite a few lessons, but none I would like to say is greater than this. 
You cannot be successful as a solo act. You need to have a team around you, and that goes for work, and even more so for family and the home front. I want to thank my children, Ariel, Stephen, Taylor, and Junior, for the sacrifices you've made in all your different ways, which have allowed me to be the best soldier and leader that I can be. I'm proud to have you as children and who are you going to grow up to be as adults, whether it's continuing in college, continuing serving the country, or to be overall great adults contributing to society. I love you and looking forward to the next chapter. To my sister who braved the airways, being scared of uh, flying, thank you, Tiaka, for showing up. Uh, to my brother-in-law, Darrell, thank you for flying in from New York and attending today's ceremony. Mom, I'm also grateful that you're here with me today. You planted the seeds in me early that allowed me to grow and be successful. Words cannot express how thankful I am to have you as a mother. I love you very much and thank you. And I saved the best moment for here. My favorite person, the one who knows me best, my beautiful wife, Selena, who will tell anybody that will listen that she's the real Sergeant Major. You stood by my side through all the appointments, being a drill sergeant, late nights, field exercises as a first sergeant, and now we're closing the chapter on Battalion Command Sergeant Major. I couldn't have done it without you, period. I'm looking forward to beginning this next chapter with you by my side, and I love you. Thank you all for your time today. Trust in me. Arrive in silence, out front. This is Spearhead 7 signing off the net. Ladies and gentlemen, the Command Sergeant Major of the 23rd Brigade Engineer Battalion, Command Sergeant Major Andre Bland. Command Sergeant Major Lawless, Colonel Kuhlman, Mrs. Kuhlman, Command Sergeant Major Smith, distinguished guests, commanders, Command Sergeant Majors, families, and friends. I'm truly thankful from the bottom of my heart uh, for your attending today's ceremony. To Major General Smith, who I know is not here, and Command Sergeant Major Lawless, Colonel Kuhlman, and Command Sergeant Major Smith, thank you for the opportunity to serve in the Ghost Brigade as Spearhead 7. I'm truly honored and humbled to be the Command Sergeant Major for the Spearhead Battalion. Lieutenant Colonel Stalker, although I know our time will be short-lived, I look forward to working with you and being your sapper buddy for the next coming up months. And to Command Sergeant Major Washington, thank you for your consistent reaching out and communicating with me. I know it's been hard um, going through a lot just getting here, but especially over this last week, you know, helping me get squared away and giving me that, that good advice to set me up for success. Truly appreciate it, brother. To my family, um, to my wife, to my best friend, my only friend, to my love, thank you, you know, always for supporting me. I'm definitely not up here without you, definitely not. From assignment to assignment, you've always been by my side, Thank you for the countless sacrifices you've made on my behalf. Thank you for your love and thank you for our family. To my children, Sam, Rita, and Andre, most importantly, thank you for waking up one time. Thank you for being you. Thank you for challenging me every day to be a better father. To the Spearhead family standing in front of me, you can only be the best if you dress right dress. So I appreciate it, Mass Armor Cave, getting everything squared away. I'm truly humbled and honored to be your Battalion Command Sergeant Major. I look forward to serving with you and most importantly, challenging you because there is nothing that I will not ask of you that I will not do myself. I quickly learned in this assignment, basically, you know, this is far exceed any assignment that I've ever had. Understanding that most of all, over the next upcoming weeks and months, my actions will speak louder and stronger than any words could ever speak. Know that I strive daily to earn your trust and your confidence. And also remember, and you're going to hear me say this a lot, it's never personal, always professional. Trust in me, arrive in silence, 
out front, Spearhead 7, signing on the net. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the 7th Infantry Division song, Army Song, and remain standing for the retiring of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Lieutenant Colonel David Stalker and the Command Sergeant Major Andre Bland of the 23rd Brigade Engineer Battalion, we wish to thank you for your attendance at today's ceremony. Command Sergeant Major Raymond Washington and Selena will remain in front of the reviewing stand area for those wishing to say farewell. Command Sergeant Major Bland will be hosting a reception located here at Nelson Recreation Center. You are welcome to attend. Have a wonderful day out front. <laughs> 